Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, I guess just before seven o'clock. Hope everybody's having a good morning so far. It's been a busy one here. Already worked on three new applications that came overnight. Thank you, referral partners, and uh, worked on some other stuff and worked out. So I'm ready to rock and roll today. Um, just want to get this out there because there's a lot of news about Zillow and, and technology companies taking over the real estate market, mortgage market, mortgage. Uh, market has been dealing with this for years. I mean, you got the Rocket Mortgage, you got like Lending Tree, you got all these other things that are lead capture. You, you put your stuff in there and they start uh, shopping around for you. So we've been dealing with this for a long time. And the NBA, the Mortgage Bankers Association, really hasn't done squat for us, to, to be honest with you. And then I, you know, I started hearing the same thing with Zillow yesterday, uh, taking over the real estate market. And, and they are, by the way. So good morning, Rebecca. And they are taking over the market. There's no if, ands, buts about it. Okay, these technology companies, whether it's Google, Amazon's getting into it now. You got Zillow obviously doing what they're doing. And Zillow, this thing with Zillow just popped up, but they've been doing other stuff behind the scenes already for years. I mean, like we've been talking about it for four or five years now. So here's the deal, okay? And here's how you can uh, fight against this. Now it's a big monster, right? Zillow, big Z in this and that. Right. And, you know, the N.A. the N.A.R. Or I'm sorry, I'm not thinking about gun. I'm always thinking about guns right now. N.R.A. Uh, that, that basically uh, is supposed to be a rep for, for the realtors in this country, uh, you know, hoping that they step up because they really haven't stepped up in certain areas. Some areas they have over the years. OK, so you have to give them credit for that. But as of late, especially now, there there's a Department of Justice. I guess lawsuit against them and, and um, you know, against real estate about their commissions and so forth. So I'm not sure how they're going to hold up to that. And now you got Zillow. So, you know, I'm just kind of curious to see how they, they uh, you know, step up on this. Hopefully they do. But here's what you got to do, okay, with your business. It is absolutely critical, okay? And I haven't been perfect over this, over the last 18 years in this business. But I tell you, in the last four or five years, we really got it zoned in and we still make mistakes, but you have to have a CRM system. You have to have a system where your, your clients are there, okay, that you're staying in front of them, whether it's emails, whether it's text messages, uh, you know, separating your best clients from other clients and staying in front of them, treating them like gold. And once again, we're all guilty of not doing it because we're all been busy. But I'm telling you right now, when the market turns and slows down, the strong will survive and the strong are the ones who are going to cover and, and take care of that database, love on them, uh, and, and go deeper with them and, you know, talk to them about other friends, family, coworkers, and so forth. If you don't have a, a database and, and you're relying on these big tech companies for these leads, not going to happen for you. Those leads are going to go away or, or they're going to get more and more and more expensive. And, and by the way, you can create your own leads. I mean, doing a lead capture is so simple. So it's not so much, hey, I got to depend on Zillow and this and that. You can create your lead capture. We can do it tomorrow and we'll have 100 leads. That's not the point. If you don't have a CRM, you don't have a follow-up system, and you don't incorporate your CRM into your daily system, that's a big thing. There's a lot of people who have these systems. I'm not just talking about realtors or mortgages. I'm talking about small business people. I know people who do screens, uh, you know, basically have you know, companies and small businesses, big businesses, and they have a CRM system, and they protect their database. If you don't protect your database, you're going to be gone, okay? I'm just telling you right now, you're going to be gone because this ain't going to last, Okay, everybody's busy. We're busy with purchases. We're busy with refinances. I'm already calculating numbers, taking out the refinances and what this looks like six to 12 months from now. So you have to be focused on your database and not just get it and then play around with it. And it's, it's got to be part of your daily action and, and have a system set up where you're constantly staying in front of them. And there's multiple ways to do that. I mean, obviously, with a CRM system, it's automated, but not just keep it automated and just do autopilot. Yes, that's working behind the scenes for you. But you got to really figure out who are your raving fans? Who are the people who love working with you? How do you stay in front of them? How do you grow that business? Not just asking for more business all the time, but how do you contribute to them? If you don't do that, I'm telling you right now, in the next year, two years, three years, there's going to be a cleaning out of the market. And here's the thing with technology. Uh, I had a friend that posted on a different post on Facebook last. They made a great point. Look at U.S. Steel. Okay, Carnegie and J.P. Morgan have a turn it in their graves right now. We've lost it to China. Okay? Unless we have something that really, and, and we all know what's going on in, in D.C., so it's, that's a whole other video. But unless something really turns and to get, a, get that back to us, it's gone. Okay, it's absolutely gone. And that's what's going to happen in mortgages and real estate if you do not take care of your database and have those, those tight, tight, knit uh, people um, and staying in front of them. So... 
that's just my two cents for today. I know it's going to get worse. There's no way it's going to get better. Uh, even if NAR does something, th this is, it's all about data. They're collecting data. They're like, you know, Zillow's been doing this. It's been a plan. And this is all the big tech companies too, by the way, Facebook and, and, and everything. They, they collect your data and then they start going into different parts of the marketplace because they can. They have all the information. So if you don't notice or you don't believe this or you haven't lived through the last crash, I'm not saying it's going to go there. But I've seen where things have been great and I've seen them when they just plummet. Sorry, my, my alarm just went off just in case. So, you know, I've seen things plummet and it's not pretty. Okay, so you've got to control your business. You've got to zero in on this. If you don't, you will be out of business. I'm telling you right now, you will. And once again, I'm not perfect at it, but we're a lot better now than we were four or five years ago. So hopefully that helps some of you. If you got any questions on CRMs, just let me know. I know a lot of it about real estate and mortgages. Uh, I know some of it, you know, on certain areas, uh, but just get something. And here's the last point and I'll leave you. The last point is once you get the CRM, you got to use it. That's your best CRM is the one you actually use. Not the one that says, oh, does this do this, does this do this? Does this have all this in there? Not all of it's going to have all that in there. Uh, and then people get it and they don't use it. You've got to incorporate it. It's got to be part of your process, part of your system. If it's not, it's gone. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just trust me on this. I mean, to me, it's, it's not even shocking. You could just step back and look at it and say, where are we going here? And, and if, if, you, you know, if you don't have those blinders wide open, uh, then, then you're really going to be left out in the cold. So anyway, hopefully that helps one of you, some of you. If you got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message on Facebook or shoot me a text at 423-262-9229. We have some breakfast and get going. Have a great day, everybody.